Hey, I thought I'd shoot a real quick video of my Nakamichi Dragon. These are extremely popular um, for a lot of reasons, but I would say the main two reasons uh, the Nakamichi Dragon is such a nice deck is its um, adjustable azimuth, automatic adjusting azimuth. And uh, just briefly, what that is, is that is um, as the tape runs across the playback head, um, that playback head is adjusted um, um, right, uh, supposed to be adjusted perfectly so the trebles are at their best, the bass is at its best. And most tape decks, if not all, other than this one, um, are pretty much adjusted and then they're, the, the screws are glued to lock them in place. And it's a pretty good adjustment, but no two tapes are alike. Um, every single tape is different. Um, so Nakamichi came out with this auto adjusting azimuth head and has like a plastic cable runs off a motor and once the music starts to play back um, the green light here not this one but the green light to play on the cassette door will start to flash and it's actually adjusting the azimuth for the best sound so obviously it's not going to do that till the there's music on the tape and it only does that on the, once you put the tape in once the tape continues to run it stays like that um, I believe for the remaining of the uh, remaining of the tape and then the second feature is recording um, when you put a tape into record again no two tapes are alike uh, you tell the Nakamichi Dragon what kind of tape it is whether it's normal high bias or metal and you put the tape in and it actually records two different tones uh, 400 Hertz um, and about a 15 Hertz low bass tone onto the tape plays that back and then the Nakamichi Dragon sets the uh, equalization bias etc uh, for that particular tape and now you're ready to record that way you get the the best performance in recording and that that's a nice feature and um, I've have I've got a lot of tape decks Optonica is one of my favorites I got a really nice three head Denon um, but none of them play tapes like this Dragon this is 72 decibels sensitivity so it's pretty loud for a tape deck most of them are in the mid 50s low 60s uh, but this one outputs 72 decibels so it's pretty good um, I just threw a tape and I'll hit play and um, nothing should happen on that green light until the music starts and uh, once the music starts it'll start to flash adjust the uh, head via a, a motor and there it goes there's the music starting And then once the uh, once the dragons got it where it's programmed at, it stops, and now we're at uh, the tape head is a perfect azimuth, and the highs are incredible. And your entire cassette collection will come to life when you play it on a Nakamichi Dragon. It is incredible how this thing sounds. Makes all your cassettes fun again. Um, but I'll do another video later of recording to show you how it records the two different tones. Um, but that's just a short demo on the auto azimuth adjustment of my Nakamichi Dragon. And this is connected using my Pioneer SX850 as a preamp. And the amplifier is a 300B Gold Ox 2 amp. And that is being outputted to my large Polk Audio SDA-1Cs. Um, any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Thanks for watching.